me and my best friend looked in the in the um the rules mm -hmm. and saw that we could wear heels. Dang. So we wore gotta it to check test the it out. Bro, like if y'all look into the handbook <laughs> and the policy, y'all can bend something, not even bend rules. Y'all can do stuff that people don't even know is in the handbook and you can be the trendsetter. Yeah, we just, you can kill it just like that. test it out. That's fine. That's, that's us. We're some rebels. So yeah, clicking down the hallways, huh? <laughs> click, click, clack. <laughs> click, clack. And you know, once the, the class let out, everybody in the hall and it's big. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. we're like, y'all go on here. We're just going to be late today. What's good, y'all? It's the Doom Chef, Saria, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, see? Today, we're back with another American reaction. Yes. Super excited about this video. If you're new to us, and, and we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on, on the road to 200K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's get it. Number one, why can't you just let us grow our hair? I don't know what's worse, <coughs> dyeing your hair pink or red or cheating on an exam. I've seen more kids get into trouble for their hair than getting caught cheating. Guys, you can't do your hair like that. Guys, your hair needs to be three shades lighter, two shades lighter, and I'm a lighter, I'm a lady, I'm a lighter, I'm a lighter. And even lighter, I'm a lighter. Guys, no. You can't go blonde if your hair is black. No, it's just not natural. That's not your genetics. Oh, and then when it comes to girls, black <laughs> girls in South African schools are treated the worst when it comes to hair. Just imagine being a black girl and you go to a salon for hours and then on Monday they mm. tell you take that out. And you explain, man, first of all, this costs 2,000 Rand to put in or 1,000 or whatever. Okay, that's nice. Take it out. Wow. Ma'am, this hair cost me literally like two days. I sat two days to do this. And first of all, do you know how painful it was sleeping at night? Do you know what risks I took Not to do this knowing. hairstyle? My yeah, hairline yeah. is on <laughs> line here. And the teacher doesn't care. He's like, okay, Sipo Kwang Wazi. Sipo Nyang Wing Wong. Take that here. I don't care. I, no, no, no. I don't care. No, no. What nah, you don't understand tough. is I don't care. School rules are real. Yeah, take that here. Ah, take that here. Ah, nah. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. Yeah, so our rules were, um, of course, we can have our hairstyles. We just couldn't have the unnatural colors. Yeah, yeah. Now, the unnatural depended on the person because I had honey blind highlights all throughout high school. There you go. So, <laughs> it depends on the person. So, what y'all do when they tell you guys that you got to put on a hat, you call home, um, because I just they say take it out. Take it out like y'all literally like I don't know. It's different. I just mm. can't see a girl in class just up in there and braiding all her hair she just did. No, um, like when things like that would happen, they would have to call their parents and the parents had to come get them at school. But if it's but policy that was rare for us. That was rare. But if it's policy you still will do it? They say, Hey, don't put your hair that color. I just wasn't going to school until I was done wearing my hair. Okay. If, listen, if I spent a lot of money, again, it didn't happen to me. So I'm yeah, just yeah. saying what if, but yeah, I never was told anything about You're going to rock that look, though. Ain't it's going to stay in until it gets tired. Me in my head. <laughs> Shoot. Nah. And you know what's funny with black girls? You guys succumb to this. You always take it out. Why? I would never shim. <laughs> shim, no? I think. <laughs> I look at the teacher and tell her, ma'am, I'll go back to you. When it comes to boys, the only thing you're allowed to do is cheese scop or brush cut. Anything beyond that, oh, you try man, dreads, you then you're not allowed to do anything. Number two, why do South African schools start so early? Hardy dolls don't even wake up that That's early. South African school, start. school yeah. should start at 9 and then come out at like 12. <laughs> That is a half a school day. Uniform. Guys, the right uniform now. is ugly in this kind. Who designs the uniform? It's designs from the 1930s. Don't even get me on started on the options we have for school shoes. <laughs> Shoes. They got school shoes. We got the Louis Vuitton limited edition toffee thing. <laughs> <laughs> we got the Balenciaga. Hey, Balenciaga. Then we got the oh, look, the Nike. Then we got we the Puma grasshoppers. Then we got the Adidas Yeezys. We got the Gucci flip flops. You know why school uniform is such a thing? Because the biggest scam in the whole world, civvies. Think about it. It's a scam. How much is it? And I don't know where it's Civi's money goes. Where does it go? It's school socials. I've been to school socials wait, where wait, they're wait, only wait. playing one. The school shoes. We're not going to just fly past that. How y'all? We never had regulations about the school shoes. It just couldn't be slippers. Slippers. Yeah, slide on. It's like. But even I then, wore those. wore heels to school before. You what? I wore heels to school before. What? Just because I could. <sighs> okay, I never. That's different. 
Yeah, I did. There was was it like a special chills. occasion day or just like pull up? I'm about Me to... and my best friend looked in the in the um the rules mm -hmm. and saw that we could wear heels. Dang. So we wore gotta it to check test the it out. Bro, like if y'all look into the handbook <laughs> and the policy, y'all can bend something, not even bend rules. Y'all can do stuff that people don't even know is in the handbook and you can be the trendsetter. Yeah, we just you can kill it like that. Test it out that. That's fine. That's, that's us. We're some rebels. So yeah, clicking down the hallways, huh? <laughs> click, click. <laughs> Click and you know, once the, the class let out everybody in the hall and it's big, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. we're like, y'all go ahead. We're just going to be late today. Mm. Oh, we'll get a head start. I remember that one that day. That is too funny. And you know what was funny. so irritating about that day? They had a fire drill. I was so mad. Yes, because I don't. Yes. Mm. I'm I, like, the day we wear heels, y'all got a fire drill. You take it off at all? No, we click collect our way outside. God dang, y'all was doing a lot then. <laughs> Policy man, check it out. Y'all can probably yes. uh, start some stuff. Cause them shoes, um, yeah, we do call those church shoes though, y'all. Yeah. yeah. That's what but, we putting up to praise the Lord in. But y'all had y'all Jordans, y'all. Oh, you already know Jordans, Pumas, Nikes, yeah. uh, Adidas, Pumas, whatever y'all. Anything, bro. Like we could have put on anything. Yeah type of genre you can clearly see into the crowd there's black kids there's colored kids white kids portuguese greek so and then you're only going to play baby chocolates afrikaans music or you're only going to play techno music or you're only going to play ama piano you're not going to play hip-hop the saddest thing is when black kids start dancing to afrikaans music as if it's ama piano baby chocolates no guys uh, this can't be this can't be happening guys we can't be doing stuff like this in 2021 should have stopped in 1994 <laughs> what Yo, <laughs> the playlist is racist. <laughs> I mean, the night is how long? Five hours, six hours? And you're only gonna play Mendoza. Listen, Mendoza. South Africa's yeah. uniform. During winter, it's useless. The school blazer is useless. When it's hot, the school blazer will trap the heat. But when it's blazer. cold, it won't trap the heat. It's like if the school blazer invites coldness. And the school jerseys, like, can't be the only one that you used to go oh, to, like, wherever you shop water. and get a, a proper oh. jersey and put it under your school jersey. With 15 <laughs> shirts. Hoodie on the school hoodie. pants. I would wear leggings, me. Five leggings <laughs> under my school pants. I had to. What must I do? What about <laughs> even your toes are cold, bruh? Tuffies are useless. School shoes are useless. I don't get those girls that wear those school shoes with the holes in them. During winter, Mariki, Amurai, Tuffies is useless. And then you're gonna wear that. Your toes are like this in the morning. Listen, so, uh, guys, we need to we need to redesign this. Right, Pip Ackerman's yeah, jet. I'm right. talking to you. Make me the face of your brand. Let you're me redesign. Right. I wanna be the creative director of school uniform in South Africa. Guys, I have ideas. The the white shirts, uh, you're not doing the girls justice. Ah, uh, why is it they all see through you guys are sus see you Pim, serious Ackerman's jet Woolworths what? what see ya stragi la guys see seize we want oh. scissors school lockers guys i used to get made fun of because i used to bring all my books to school if there is school lockers you guys want us to pay for them are you mad so many books for what god i look like a construction worker carrying those those hammers have you ever been to a primary school these days it looks like they mini soldiers they're carrying backpacks it's like ak-47s ammunition grenades these are kids the way schools in south africa <laughs> handle pregnancy with girls and then some schools expel those girls you know some schools tell them to stay at home until the pregnancy is over Ma'am, I'm pregnant. Okay, fuck off. No, guys, you can't be doing that. She has a right to an education, and I'm not condoning pregnancy at all. I know he's uh, making light of all this stuff, but this is some real topics I'm hearing, man. Yeah. Yeah, like pregnancy at school, and you can't come to school, so you gotta have the baby. Now you gotta, what, miss a whole year? And right. then. I, that's different. That's why different. Not, that's different. I mean, if it's a problem in the society, why not just create a school for them to go? That makes sense. Or just have them with something outside of the school that they can, like online schooling, where they can online still schooling. just simply get their education or webcaming or something. Yeah, because I understand, you know, they are minors. The school is held liable if anything happens. I understand that, but, you know, just don't just say, oh, hey, you, you know gotta what? You stay failed. Home. Yeah, Basically, you know what I'm saying? That's like, a whole year. Yeah, that's tough, yeah. It's like, for us, we call that being held back. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Um, you got to repeat the grade. We don't look at the problem, you guys. We look at the solutions. Mm -hmm. So we try to give you guys a little light on things, too. So, yeah. yeah. And in high school, why isn't the guy also being told to stay at home? Why is it just oh, the girl that's being there. punished? But the guy is there. He He's there, there busy playing soccer. No, 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 no. <laughs> Una, Una, be a father. Don't care if you great name. <laughs> It's bro, unfair treatment. Bro, like oh, it, it's always the girls being, you know, belittled and. But then the guy, they don't do anything about him. But Jabulan your question. Ah!
this one hot pull to swallow but racism in south african schools is not taken seriously tell me if i'm wrong but i've never heard of a kid who, who was being racist get expelled or suspended the only thing i've ever heard was maybe parents being called and then nothing happened and they say that we'll look into it look into what wow <laughs> Bruh, he is turning up. The whole entire class said, this person said what he said. We'll look into it. Ah, it's sad. And you know what's the saddest? The saddest is it's when the person is the only minority in that school. Like you're the only colored kid, you're the only black kid, and you're surrounded and you complain. Who are you gonna complain to when you it's like <laughs> let me make this example? You you go into a school for sharks, you a tuna. You're the only tuna at that school. <laughs> when the shark bites you, who are you gonna complain to? All the sharks are gonna go, but no, we sharks, it's what we do. Now you're there, a tuna with a broken neck. This is you in the principal's office. <laughs> Bro. Turn it up. <laughs> It is. It's a very serious issue. No, but like, it's not right. Teachers who literally just read off the textbook or off the slide, they read it line for line. This is the part that I'm like, this oh, teacher man, like should that. get fired. We ask them, ma'am, I don't understand. What do they do? They read the line the exact same way, just slower. Oh, I don't understand. Yeah. And then you just read the same thing again. Every day, every week, every period, they just read the textbook. <clears throat> I, I used to like having to read out loud in class. I know we had this conversation. You know, so yeah, we do paragraph by paragraph. We go faster. Everybody in the class have a paragraph, even the teacher. Nah, I was the one in class whenever it was my turn, it would hit my table. <laughs> read, it's your turn. I said, oh. Where we at? You know how many times we asked what we was in the book? <laughs> a few times. But when we got to our chapter, we knew. A lot of times you have to count to see what yeah, chapter you see are. see how many people go go. Okay, I got time. Let me close my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> And then, you know, that's when I hate it. When it's a pure maths teacher and all they do is read. And then they give you exercises. Go do this at home. You come back, ma'am. No, I already went through this so many times. There are teachers with attitudes like this. They don't have hairlines. But that's not the point. You're teaching me tricks. And this is what you're doing. Nah, but fit. I might as well drop out of high school and go start oh, no. dancing like Uncle Vinny. Hope to go viral. Yo. Then we got sports. There's favoritism. The thing of favoritism oh, really? with picking captains or kids making it into the team. The whole squad says he can't play, but he's in the first team. <laughs> Coincidence? Ah, the worst <laughs> players make it into the team because hey, people are shaking hands. You gotta get in somehow. <laughs> Singing school anthem every morning. Like, I enjoy singing my school song. Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? <laughs> okay, that's not my school song, but it's cold. I want to go to class. I want to learn. Now, can't stand up on the school song. It's 7 in the morning. You're asking me to sing. The last thing I want to do is sing. Like, 7 in the morning. <laughs> like, we put that in consideration. So like, yeah, we all about to phones, start guys, I don't know what phones did to these people. Let us use our phone. Obviously, not during. Uh, even during class, guys. Just, what do you tell us when we go to do homework? Guys, you could have used the internet. Then let us use it in class. I'm calm. I'm calm, yo. Let us use our phones. Drink break. Bro, I hated them when I was in math class and they said you can't use a calculator. They told you you couldn't. Oh, told me I can't oh, use the okay. calculator. What is what we got a we got a table over there full of calculators and y'all put a math sheet in front of it saying y'all work the problem out. Why well, they just wanted you to learn the problem, babe? I understand that, but you know you can still have the calculators like just get the problem in there faster. Faster. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. What was those calculators called? Um. Oh, no, you... Graphing calculators. Oh, those they big ones. You the whole Man, answer. yeah, like you can put charts and like yeah. everything on them thing. Yeah, Ooh. I love those. Those nice calculators. <laughs> Fine, during class, we'll, we'll let's have a debate about that. Let's have a school parents evening. In fact, let the parents stay at home. No, let them come because they pay for the the phone. Schools must be used during school. school. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us are antisocial, and by that I mean we have friends, we belong to a group of friends, but we don't feel like coming to school and talking every day. Yeah. Our cell phones are there for us to stare at um, OnlyFans. <laughs> hey, what? Listen, no, are there for <laughs> now y'all know, I'm a parent, so I understand the no phones in school. Mm -hmm. They're going to be distracted, but also it, it's a safety issue as well, you know? Yeah, yeah. They would tell us to leave us, like our phones in a locker or something. Well, we, couldn't, we weren't allowed to bring our phones to school. Yeah, right. But, but okay. We had extracurricular activities, so mm -hmm. our phones were brought to school. But I was also one of those people who got my phone taken away twice, so 
You know how many times they told us not to bring our phone like over the intercom? Really? I thought y'all could bring y'all phones. I mean, at some point, it's like, I, I guess you could say maybe some classes. Mm. It's like you can't have your cell phone in class. Okay, yeah, we couldn't. But we would leave our, our we would leave it to go. Oh, especially when your phone some... went off in class. Oh, they had it. You had that? Mm -mm. I didn't get it. I was a good child. Did, I was like you. Right. Did y'all do uh, those checks? Did they um, do the random checks? Yes, yes, yes. They brought the dog. Yeah. They came with the cops. The, we the looking at everybody sectors. like, what happened? Who <laughs> did what? Sectors. Like, man, everybody's talking about, bro, they doing a sweep today. What you mean no. a sweep? Like, get your phone and save it, like, hide it or something. Like, yeah. No. So everybody empty your pockets, put it, what you got on the desk and get out. <laughs> I remember uh, going to the school, thinking it's going to be a regular day, and they have the metal detectors at the door. Bruh. Just like that. Just like that. And what you would do, turn around in your heels, no. and you would walk back to the car. I was prepared after the first time getting my phone taken away. I already so, know what you're going to say. I put it in the place where... I'm not it's called no 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 no. It's not that, but at the same time, I'm not, um, I'm not telling that because I had I worked at workplaces and you had to work the metal detectors and they need to know what you're bringing with you. A lot right. of times it will beat because they were bringing their cell phones, but women would be like, I have a metal bra, like the little piece. Yeah, yeah. It would be metal, that, that and they would work. use that as a. But then they'll take everything from you. They'll have like they one day they set up the whole thing mm. and they took the bags, had the bag go through. The um metal detectors and you went through it by by themselves by yourself with yeah, the, yeah. the handheld metal detector. Nah, we would just had to go to the principal office and go uh, talk to them about getting our phone back, and they'd be like, "Just tell your parents to come get it." Yeah, parents. Some people don't get their phone till the end of the year. <laughs> See, I wasn't. Bro, going I for ain't that lying. One. I wasn't going for that one. Look, let's mm -hmm. jump back in it. Let's. <laughs> Us to stay, you know, at whatever is keeping us busy, lets us listen to music. Some teachers generally want us to, like, have, you know, the freedoms of the 21st century. And you ask them, ma'am, can I listen to music? And they say, okay, yeah, guys, you guys, all of you can listen to music. It's fine. I don't mind. I just don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Hey, and then there's those kids with Bluetooth speakers. Ish. Oh, what do they do? Man. They pull out Bluetooth speakers. <laughs> this is literally how they find it. This is my mommy. I'm gonna go. Oh. My young shiny. Oh. What are you costing us? Yeah. And why is it every school fight starts in, in, in January? <laughs> How many videos have you seen of South African schools or South African school kids fighting? The amount of school fights, first term, it's like people the whole of December were like busy training. When I see him on their face, they were school. I don't think he's telling no lie. Every day, the first day of school, you didn't, y'all say I didn't have like within that first week of school, there wasn't no a fight. Bro, that was a fight. That was literally like was a fight. the last week of school. Uh, no, nah, we didn't hold our water that long. They See, wait until the first day, until like the end of the week. Mm -mm. And we, you, you were here, or you were C. No, I was, I was like C. I was innocent. I put those days behind me. That's good to, that's good to hear. Yeah, by high school, I was cool. Calm, and, calm and collective. collective. Mm -hmm, sure. <laughs> but, um, yeah, first day of school. I don't know what it is. It's a turn-up party. Yeah. Teachers was like, you know, you see, it didn't happen on school grounds. No, no, I get it. Yeah, no, they stabbed your son, but it didn't happen on school grounds. You see, if it happened. What? Oh, on well. So some people take it to social media, and then the schools don't want to care. No, we don't. We don't want to get involved with the Facebook and the, and the WhatsApp. And See, so social media wasn't really like we had MySpace. Yeah. It wasn't really. We didn't have internet. Know, we didn't have internet nah, against us at the time. Especially not no video. Nah, it wasn't nah, working like that. Mm -hmm. Nah, could we put videos on? No, we on had MySpace? YouTube. We couldn't put videos World on Star. MySpace. Oh, World Star. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't have, we couldn't actually, like, upload a video on MySpace. We it wasn't nothing, like, I remember on MySpace days, I didn't see any drama, like, talking about. Not that I can mm -hmm. remember. It was just us putting things on our wall. It wasn't even a timeline. And like, you had that old, some people had, like, that pretty Ricky track on oh, there. I had, they I had, had, had them that. high school people who just had heartbreaks and they had their little songs <laughs> on there. Then you had your little, you know, your little OGs of the, the MySpace who've been there since day one. And that's yeah, just yeah. so much, so your much. top eight. The top eight. Oh <laughs> snap! People always rearranging that because they just yes, yes. I, I took you off my top eight. A we're not going. We're not going to talk about that. Mm -hmm. You see, because I I really tried to go open up my old account. Mm -hmm. It's still there, but everything is not there no more. Yeah, they took. It's it's, it's not there no more. So. Ah, uh, but ma'am, we have the voice notes. You can see this is them. This is the profile pic. We exposing this person. The school doesn't care. So many kids have so many racist things in group chats. Homophobic. You name all the isms they've said on group chats. 
and then the teachers don't care. This is cyber bullying or cyber, cyber racism. Wow. Yeah. Cyber racism, 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 cyber racism. <laughs> Is that a thing? Teachers who don't like it when uh, black bro. kids speak their own language in class, their mother tongue. They'll be like, if I don't understand it, you're not allowed to speak it. Only English and Afrikaans. At that time, the teacher's teaching grade fours. What are we possibly, as grade fours, gonna do speaking our own language? Are we gonna start an uprising? What, are we gonna decolonize it? <laughs> What is it possibly that bad that you think is going to happen when you speak your own language? No, no, you guys, no, no, hey, hey. No speaking exos in my class. No you can speak a drink break. Yeah, hey. Uh, all right, okay, Um. yeah, definitely school is approaching. Mm -hmm. I have started already for yeah. some folk. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we just want everybody to have a very safe, smart, intellectual, educated school year. Fun, you know what I'm saying, if you're in sports, get involved. Um, yeah, just keep your head straight. Stay on your block and right. keep your head straight. Stay focused. I don't know if schools start... We're on different schedules. We are on different schedules. Our children start school. But well, we know... No. Y'all probably still... No, they started. I think they started. Okay. Oh, no. When y'all... When is y'all school year? Yeah, let us know when y'all start. Yeah, now I'm not thinking about it. Is there a think... year round? Uh, see? Yeah. I remember having a conversation. I just don't remember it. Yeah. <laughs> Fake checks yeah. is, you know what I'm saying, bring us back up to speed, you know what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah, all that but good stuff. Hope you guys have a successful school year if you're yes. starting or if you're in it, okay? Mm -hmm. or, or your children, we're actually speaking to the parents of the children. Right. Really. To but, have a good, you know, <laughs> successful school year. Yeah, so let us know how your school days was because we know the majority of our channel is 24 to 45, something like that. Something like that, around those areas. But whatever, let us know about your school days, back in the day. Some funny stories, you know. Funny stories. We like to hear it. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you like to support the channel that way. As well as our reaction request form is in our description, description box below. below. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.